Hi everyone, this is Charity and welcome to a new legacy challenge based on the rules set by Lucid Simmer. It's more of a story prompt than actual challenge rules. So I will be tweaking it just a little bit to add some difficulty. And the link to the rules for, or the goals for these generations will be in the description below as well as a link to the channel. So with all my legacy challenges, I actually like to start out with the founders as a toddler or I like them to have some sort of backstory, even though they don't have any parents and most people just create them in CAS. I tend to make my founders uh, orphans or just not have any parents. So these toddlers are going to live alone in this little cave, which actually has a play tent in it so that they can sleep. And I have a little potty here uh, covered by the dirt from werewolves. So it actually looks like he's peeing in the dirt. And over here we have a little pond and we have a shower. They don't need this right now, but they will use this later. And no, you're not going to go splash. Because that will make you dirty and you have no way to clean yourself. So what I have found is that you can actually have toddlers take care of themselves as long as they have adults to give them something to eat and bathe them. And actually bathing is optional. They just get really uncomfortable if they're not bathed. So I have an adult in the household, but I have placed her in the basement with all the things that she needs to autonomously take care of herself. And she will not be interacting with the toddlers while we're on the home lot. I just use her to complete tasks that the toddlers cannot do for themselves, mainly opening seed packets and paying bills and things like that. So Latasha Vaughn is going to be the little girl in our story, and the little boy is Isaiah Denson. So these two start out as living in this little cave by themselves, and let's get them out of the rocks. I tried as best as I could when I constructed this lot to put fences around um, the debug rocks so that the kids will not go through the rock, but that's difficult to do. So right now we're just getting their thinking up because that's one skill they don't seem to get up very much. Uh, we also need to find a rabbit, though. The rabbits is one of the ways that they can get attention. Oh, uh, there's one. I think they sometimes get attention when they talk amongst themselves, but uh, it seems to be random. Sometimes they will get attention and sometimes they won't. But they need to make friends with the bunnies anyway. Because later on, uh, they will be starting a farm. And the bunnies will help with gardening. Plus, it's so cute to have a toddler talking to a bunny. Although, I don't know why they choose to do it across the fence. You can even pet the bunny. Alright, after you go potty again, let's go talk to the bunny too so that you can get your attention up. I think our bedtime will be about 7pm. So I'm trying to to do this series and limit the number of edits but also not pause the game so this the audio for this will be a little rough i uh, i usually spend a lot of time editing and cleaning up extraneous sounds but for this one i am going to let it just run all right and now maybe we can get our thinking up a little bit or potty if she's still pottying Unfortunately, when you're doing the watch interaction on toddlers, it doesn't let you queue it up if you have a current action running. So if I can get their potty up to level three, they will actually never go in their diaper unless they can't make it to the potty for some reason. There is no potty on the lot. The Isaiah is already watching Lat Latasha. And if I go to the friendly interaction, they're... Oh, there is actually an option to watch. I guess Kisa, he's not currently doing it and she's walking. But if he has one of them running, it will not appear there. So after she's done talking to the bunny, she's probably going to watch him. And we'll try and make today's goal to max out thinking. 
it should go pretty quick because I actually have a tiny home and the child's play lot trait and also study I think it's study lot that makes the toddler's skills go up super fast and we just need to make sure that we keep our hunger full and level two of thinking wow that's going to take forever all right isaiah is on level three so he got a little bit of a head start i think because he was pottying and latasha was gaining potty skill instead of thinking when she was watching him and it's almost time for bed so we probably will not make level five today eat your plantain and the reason why they end up starting a farm is because when they were toddlers they survived by eating fruit and they love the outdoors because they've always lived in the outdoors so both of them will have the loves the outdoors trait and the family oriented trait and they will both be completing the requirements for gardening all right latasha is thinking level three Actually, it works better if you have two sims that you can toggle back and forth on the watch interaction. Unfortunately, there's only the, the one other sim. And this is a 64 by 64 lot. Uh, another stipulation of the challenge is that you start on a corner of the lot and expand as you go, but there's no real rule as to how to do that. So the way I'm going to do it is this is a currently a 14 by 14 section and for every skill level in gardening that we get for latasha we will move north uh, i think it's five spaces and we'll move this way I, I don't know it's north south east west i don't i don't really know which direction it is actually but uh isaiah will allow us to go in this direction for every skill point in gardening that he gets so we won't be actually expanding until the, they are teenagers because they can't get any gardening skill as children or toddlers as children they actually use the mental skill instead of the gardening skill now, i don't have any mods that allow toddlers to live alone but i do have the mod that allows children to live alone so we can get rid of the extraneous adult once they are children i'm playing on normal lifespan i thought about playing on long lifespan but to be honest it just sounded exhausting to have toddlers for an entire year once they finish their skills they're pretty boring especially with no parents to interact with or other family members to interact with. Toddlers have almost nothing to do in the game by themselves. They have some limited family interactions, but even the family interactions are not that great. I'm eager to see what they do with infants because already toddlers are not very interesting. And once you do it once, it's just like, why do it ever again? The only reason is to get that reward trade, of course. We have to make sure that their hunger is maxed and then also that they go to the potty one more time because we're about to go to sleep. All right, let's have you go first. Okay, Isaiah is going to use the potty and then go to sleep. And then Latasha is going to watch him use the potty before she uses the potty herself. That'll get her a few extra skill points or a few extra percentages in a skill point. It goes up very slow. So potty, I think, is probably the worst skill. And your hunger need is pretty full. Yours is pretty full too, but we might just max it out. Hurry up, Isaiah. Maybe I should have put two potties on the lot. I didn't think I would really need two potties. Okay, your turn, Latasha. And then we go to sleep. And then we have to make sure that the adult is also sleeping. Let's take a quick shower so that that doesn't wake us up. And your bladder need is fine. Go to sleep. And then probably nap a couple times just to make sure you don't wake up. This usually has them waking up in the middle of the night, but that's okay. And Latasha actually reached level 2 of the putty skill. Okay, not too bad. That's a 5 a.m. wake up time. That's about what time my kids get up. Okay, we should finish off thinking today. You're only level three 
and Isaiah is level four. We also need to find a bunny to talk to. I don't think the bunnies are up this early though. No bunny. They can't interact with Patchy yet, but I decided to have him. Oh, this one has a gift, but I can't take it. The only thing they can do with the birds is say, what's that? <laughs> they can interact with the rabbits, which is kind of funny. They can't interact with the birds yet for some reason. Oh, it's the spring festival. So we get to interact with the flower bunny and look for eggs. Now, hunting for eggs will actually earn us a little bit of cash, which is pretty nice. There's a bunny. Clover. Try to name all of my bunnies. Okay, Latasha, again, get up and go to the potty. And just eat some grapes. And we can come and talk to this one. Thumper. Thumper is a black rabbit. Now with the rabbits, it's actually funny that it seems to be 50-50 for their interactions as to whether or not they gain favor or they gain friendship or it subtracts from friendship. So I think it's hard for toddlers to make friends with bunnies because they can't give them any gifts. But once they become children, you can give them gifts and it's a lot easier to make a friend. Oh, this is actually pretty good for communication too, so... I think they're going to max out their communication skill first before their thinking skill. And we're going to go and hunt for some more eggs. Only found one egg so far. Supposedly a rare one though. Okay, you're done with the eggs. So why don't you go and watch Latasha now. Finish out your thinking skill. And we'll eat a little bit of the grapes and get her attention up. I wonder where the flower bunny is. I think that... He's supposed to spawn by a mailbox, but I did not see him spawn anywhere over here. I don't usually use that holiday in my game, so I'm not familiar with how he spawns. I know that there's a set time for Santa Claus or Father Christmas, but it doesn't seem to be a set time for the Flower Bunny. Okay, your attention is almost good. I guess you can just do what's that a lot, because... To be honest, you're pretty much good otherwise, and you should try to build some friendship with Tweet Tweet. It's funny with the uh, watch interaction that there is no negative chance. It's always positive. All right, and now we need to try and hunt for some eggs with Latasha, but I don't know if there's enough spaces. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough things that haven't been checked for her to finish her achievement because some of these things are probably not going to be reachable since they're either in the water or along the fence we'll try and how are you doing on thinking uh, that what's that interaction doesn't even do that much um maybe we'll just try watching latasha now since i can cue it up a few times okay yeah she actually got her holiday thing achieved as well wow that's a lot of eggs Still, they're only worth 10 simoleons apiece. All right, then we'll finish up by watching Isaiah and try to get thinking done. So thinking and communication are pretty much almost done. And I know that imagination will go really fast. Another one that is hard is movement, uh, unless you have the slide. Now, I didn't buy the slide for this lot because it didn't make a lot of sense. And I don't think they have a slide in the world. They have monkey bars and blocks, believe it or not, but no slide. All right, and I got two more eggs. So we have about 3,000 simoleons after I paid for this place, including the basement. So we can pay the bills once, uh, but we only need to pay them once uh, when they're a toddler. After they're children, they can earn enough money to, to pay all the bills. Oh, there's the flower bunny. Let's go say hi before he goes somewhere and go ask why. For some reason, the flower bunny is still a stranger to Isaiah. All right, your thinking is level four. We're just going to bug the flower bunny by asking why a bunch of times. <laughs> that tends to piss off the adult sims. Okay, why can you not interact with him, but your sister can? Oh, well, actually, they're not brother and sister. They're just two orphans that are living together. All right, well, I guess Isaiah got the short end of the stick, and he's not able to talk to the flower bunny right away for some reason. Oh well, doesn't matter. You can use talk to stranger until the flower bunny will let you talk to him. Now, now I can toggle my watch. Okay, Isaiah has mastered the thinking skill. So now I think you pretty much just need to 
work on communication and imagination and movements. Fun stuff. No, not yet. You need to still watch because your thinking is not done. This is why I like pausing the game because it's very hard to click on a moving sim. But luckily they're toddlers and they don't move too quickly. If you play make-believe, you can get playful, which makes imagination go that much quicker. And Isaiah is energized. I probably should have him work on movement, but we have to go potty first. All right, so it only took two days to max thinking, and imagination is going to take less time. So we should finish well before the week is over. Uh, if you play on long lifespan, the toddlers are actually toddlers for an entire sim year, which is four weeks. And I thought that was just way too long. A normal lifespan, it's one week, which is long enough to be honest. So we'll just get Isaiah playful and he can play inside the tent for a little while. There's no other thing for the toddlers to do for the spring festival. It, it's only hunt for eggs and interact with the flower bunny. I think the flower bunny is supposed to drop flowers too, but for some reason in my game, they never seem to drop any flowers. Either that or someone else is picking them up, but I've not seen any. Oh yeah, this is this little uh, playground that I was talking about. They have the monkey bars over here and they even have like a little toy and blocks and a lump of clay. I thought this was so cute. They normally don't do this in the open world. Mainly you have to have stuff like this on lots. But just some little toys. I thought the toddler toys was an especially cute touch. I've never seen these at a playground. All right, it's almost time for bed again. So let's just try and max out our hunger or max out our... Yeah, let's try and just max out our hunger needs so that we don't have to do that later on. Oh, you're making a mess down here. Because I have the reduce and recycle thing on, but we'll fix that. I've tried to make as many chores as possible for this family because they're going to have lots of children and be living in a farm. And I just wanted it to be as realistic as possible. I don't usually like doing all the dust mopping, the laundry, the tr taking out the trash with all of the families. But for this one, it just makes a lot of sense. Not quite time to go to sleep, but almost there. And we're going to max out imagination today, at least for Natasha. La Latasha. Yeah, I, I just used random names, so I'm going to screw up that name. That's a weird name to me. And Latasha has reached imagination skill level 5. So I think it's time that we should go to bed. So while Isaiah is using the potty one last time, maybe we'll introduce ourselves to Opie. And of course, Opie falls asleep. It's so hard to interact with cats, and the same goes for dogs. The cats and dogs expansion really wasn't done very well because the cats get a whole bunch of queued up actions and they refuse to interact with your sim while they're doing any of their actions. You have to wait for all of their actions to complete. Okay, no, you're not going to nap. You're going to go potty. Forget working on your communication. You're going to go sleep. Oh, oh, maybe we should eat something first. Okay, make sure your hunger is completely maxed out before you go to bed because for some reason you always wake up hungry. Okay, Isaiah is going to sleep and Latasha is just finishing her last go to the bathroom before the next day. And the flower bunny is still here. Are you dropping any flowers? I have not seen a single flower yet. Why don't you drop flowers? Okay, now that you're full, you can go to sleep. And hopefully the flower bunny will go home. Yeah, I can send him home. And then we should have the adults sleep. Then that'll be it for the day. So yeah, the Lucid Legacy Challenge, it sounds like something that will be interesting for me to play out. And we're just going to cut it off here at the end of the second day. Uh, these might be short, but like I said, not nearly as much editing as I do with the other Let's Play. But if you're interested in the rules, those are in the description below and a link to the channel for the original creator of the Lucid Legacy Challenge, which is the Lucid Summer. Thanks for watching. Bye.